guys in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to generate really awesome mockups for your dribble for your behance intro sections or even let's say your website intro sections if you want to i mean these are amazing and you don't have to learn figma for this honestly you don't have to you don't have to learn perspectives or you don't have to fetch a bunch of background colors and stuff along those lines i'm going to be sharing one tool that's going to do all of that for you and it's a really easy tool anyone can use it so the tool's name is shorts and you need to go to shorts.so. That's the link, shorts.so. Once you land on that particular tool, this is something that you're gonna get. You can click on start creating and that's it. So I already have some designs that I'm gonna share. Like for example, this design, this design, and this design. So two mobile designs, one desktop design. So in order to use the desktop design, you basically just have to drag and drop it in. You don't have to worry about cropping. You don't have to worry about making the size perfect, anything along those lines. You just need to go ahead and drag, drag and drop that in. If you actually look at the sidebar at the top, let me just zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit more closely. If you look at the sidebar at the top, you have screenshots, you have you can obviously configure it for the browser. If I click on the browser, it's gonna be configured for a browser. If I click on the minimal phone, obviously minimal desktop, it's gonna be configured for the minimal desktop. Obviously we have to respect the sizes there, but for now, let's just talk about the screenshot. So imagine you have a screenshot. You can have different styles for it as well. Should it have a default style? Should it have a stacked style, a retro style, a glass uh, dark or a glass light, or just quite simply a border? I'm gonna stick with, let's say, a simple thing like stacked. And then you can define what the border radius should be. I would suggest stick with sharp or probably some something in between sh uh, sharp and curved. It's automatically gonna adjust them for you. I'm gonna go with something in the middle manually. You can also adjust the shadows. So I can say the shadow shouldn't be there completely or maybe it should be very low. I think something between low and none should be fine. So you can adjust that yourself as well. You can also define the scale. So how big of this particular design should be on the mockup itself? Should it be slightly up, bottom, completely at the bottom, something like this, or maybe you can slightly adjust it, something on like this on the side. Let's say you actually wanna place it on the side and write some text on the right, you can do that as well by exporting this asset. And I'm gonna teach you how to do this. I'm just gonna reset it. Maybe we actually want it slightly at the top, something like this, and that's it. You can basically adjust. Now you can also adjust like the perspective of it as well. You can say the perspective should be something like this, like this, maybe it should be slightly like this. Isn't it amazing? Like, isn't this freaking amazing? You don't have to worry about any of these things. You don't have to install five different plugins to do this, but you're gonna be like, hey, what if I wanted a particular gradient here or maybe a slightly different gradient here? Well, don't worry about it. You can even choose an image yourself to be placed behind here. You can add a noise to this particular gradient as well to give it that granular look. You can also go ahead and choose what that particular height and width for this particular frame should be. You can also choose simple colors. I'm gonna say I want a color like this, maybe just something like this. But I would suggest, highly suggest using the default gradients because I think they do a great job. So gradients like this, like this, like this. I mean, this design is looking good the way it is just by using this tool. This design, honestly, is just something that I created as a random concept quite a while back. It isn't really that great, but <laughs> based on this particular tool and based on the content that's being generated, it's looking amazing you also have desktop backgrounds as well like something like this if you want to use it like this like this I mean this looks freaking amazing just using this tool makes my designs look amaze amazing so I mean it's awesome now if you wanted to do the same thing for a mobile design how would you do it well first of all you're gonna go into the mockups and you're gonna choose a minimal phone or some or any other mockup that you actually want to use like an iPhone 14 or like an iPhone 14 plus or 13 or whatever. I'm just gonna suggest using a minimal phone because you don't have to worry about the size particularly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag my images here. So this is one image. And then on the right, as you can see, if I want to place multiple images, I can choose the presets that are here. So maybe I'm gonna choose this one or let's probably choose, this one looks good as well, but maybe let's just go ahead and with this one, a simple one. And we're gonna just, let's say, drag and drop this particular image here. The design looks amazing the way it is. Like, honestly, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to repeat all of the things that I just mentioned to you. I can go to the frame. I can choose, let's say, a background here of something like this. Or since it's like a dark one, I can probably choose something like this. I can also explore some other really awesome backgrounds as well. I can use these mesh gradients as well. I know people talk about creating these mesh gradients directly inside Figma and maybe using plugins for that and all of that stuff. I mean, you have a single tool that's basically doing the job for you. Why do you have to think about 10 different plugins and have proficiency in Figma? Obviously proficiency in Figma is really great if you have it. But even I myself, if I had to generate these mockups, 
I wouldn't necessarily go to five or 10 different plugins to generate something like this. I'll just go to this tool, generate the mockup that I want and export it. So if I want to export it, first of all, I can just copy it as a TIFF. Or if I wanted to export it, I can say I want to export it, let's say as a 2X, as a 4X, or just default, like one X is fine as well. And once I click on export or download, that basically just exports the design for me. And here we have the design. I mean, isn't this an amazing superpower that you wish you knew about quite a while earlier? Well, now you know about it. So definitely do subscribe to hit the bell icon. Let me know if you knew about this tool before I told you about it. Even if you did, that's amazing. If you didn't, definitely do subscribe to my channel to keep on top of any of these updates, any of these gems that I keep on sharing on my, uh, on my channel. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.